My name is Joe Painter and welcome to the 2016 stories of the Boscov's Berks Jazz Fest and oh my goodness there are so many stories and I want to get into the education portion of it and that brings me to Chris Heslop. Hi Chris. Hi Joe. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. You, you and I were just talking before this started. You're extraordinarily talented in so many areas. Saxophone, clarinet, education. Um, you've written opera haven't you? Yes. I'm writing another one too. Are you? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> this one is about the life of Lorenzo de Ponte, who was Mozart's librettist. Wow. Uh, crazy character. So to do that, to write an opera, how did, how did you learn that? Uh, well, I, I did a number of plays okay. uh, for the Yoakum Institute. I, I put some music to plays. And then uh, last year we did uh, an opera together. Uh, Who's we? Uh, it was a collaboration between the Yoakum Institute and uh, Burke's Opera Company. Okay. And uh, it was uh, really nicely received, and it was a lot of fun for all of us. It, it really came together well. So uh, my friends in uh, Reading Theater Project, uh, we decided to do another opera and, and also collaborate with uh, the Burke's Opera Company and uh, do this uh, story, uh, an opera about this crazy uh, librettist uh, of Mozart's. So do you uh, write the songs or, or do you do the score? I guess I'm, you know, uh, are you well, writing the verses or the score or both? Well, I have, uh, this time uh, there's two uh, people writing the libretto mm -hmm. or the text. Uh, Sue Lang, who's in Reading Theater Project right. and wrote a few plays for us. She kind of wrote the, the first draft and then uh, my librettist, uh, Vicki Graff, is writing uh, the libretto. Uh, she's taking Sue's work basically and making it more into a, a theatrical production and uh, song, more of a song form in, in some cases. So help me out. What's a librettist? Well, that's the person who writes uh, all the words. To oh, the, so to this opera. opera is about the Mozart's librettist. It's about a librettist. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, he was cool. a crazy, uh, he has an interesting, colorful story. Which is why you're intrigued. Yes. Yes. And so and we'll have to go to find a, out, right? Well, you better go and find out. <laughs> but he had, what, what, with Reading Theater Project, we like to have a local connection. Mm -hmm. and, and he actually ended up living in Pennsylvania for a short time. And he transited this area and did some business in Reading. Wow. Yeah. So when will this come about? When uh, will well, it be presented? Well, we're doing a musical, just a musical presentation one, one night during Jazz Fest. Uh, I want to say April 8th. Of it's a this? Friday. Yes. Excellent. And then uh, the full staged opera will be in June. And where will it be? That's going to be at the uh, WCR, Women's Club of Reading. Uh, on April 8th or the full show? The full show will be in June. It's two, two long weekends. There okay. might be eight, eight performances or so. Uh, so, so anyway, yeah, I mean, we all start talking about, about opera when, no. we're, when we're supposed to be talking about <laughs> education. Well, no, wait a minute. Think about this. It's really about Boscov's Burks Jazz Fest. It's in 26 years, and there's a huge education component to this. Mm -hmm. And you chair that committee, is that correct? Yes. And when did that start? Um, 10 years ago, maybe. So what was the biggest challenge when they said, all right, <clears throat> we're doing music, everybody likes to come up. You know, we ought to teach something here. We ought to get yeah. the kids involved. What was your challenge? The challenge is uh, getting the kids there. A, oh. a year or two, we... You know, we, br we brought in people that are, you know, really well-known and great educators. And, you know, we would just do it, you know, somewhere, just pick a place. And we'd say, Here, here's what we have going. And uh, no one would, you know, it would be Saturday at 1 or something. And no one, you know, very few would show up. So What was it? A workshop? A workshop. Okay. You know, you, sometimes it's hands-on. You, know, you bring your instrument. Sometimes it's, you know, paper hands at handouts or... Uh, How about the, the there were guitar workshops or bass boot camps and that was for oh, yeah. all ages is that part of the education program well it is I, i'm not 
you know, the boot camp is Gerald, Gerald Weasley's. But it's an education creation. component? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't personally get involved with that uh, mm -hmm. just because it's all taken care of. You know, so how did you get the kids to come? How did you, well, and, you know, ignite that fire? Well, we, uh, we saw that the, a lot of schools host uh, a jazz, they call it a jazz festival, mm -hmm. and that usually they invite a bunch of schools. They, the schools come with their band you know, via bus to, to you know, the host school, and they each usually perform three songs, and then there's usually uh, adjudicators, judges. Uh, to so it's a competition. It is a competition, yeah, uh, and they usually go home with a, uh, some form of recording of each judge's comments and a scorecard and, and then, yes, maybe a trophy. Right, uh, right. And that for a number of things. So uh, I guess the, what we, so we, we thought we would model something after that, but we didn't want it to be a competition uh, because then you might just get the, you know, the schools that are usually, you know. Always winning. Yeah, always winning. <laughs> so we, we completely took the competitive part out and we made it fully educational and we invite uh, eight clinicians, uh, eight professional musicians to do a variety of different things, uh, including uh, conduct the band in a, in a re rehearsing a new piece. So you'll, the kids will get a, you know, a new a teacher experience mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. aside from their normal. And then uh, <clears throat> sometimes they'll have a little improvisation workshop hands-on. Mm -hmm. So the kids will have their instruments and clinician will just be guiding them through a, some sort of a process of uh, improv improv improvising or uh, maybe uh, tips on how to practice more efficiently, uh, all kinds of things like that. And then we have another se section where the band is actually performing and the clinicians are there interacting with the kids during that. So they might stop the band and say, hey, let's try this, try that. So that's a lot of, of workshops, certainly education, classroom, kind of only in a theater or, or um, a hotel, wherever this might be. When did it go from that to the students performing? Because now you can, we can go see these students perform and they're quite amazing. These are high school students and the music is impressive. Oh, so yeah. where, how did that transition happen? Well, uh, it's still happening. It's it still is? kind of uh, evolving. <laughs> evolving. Well, that's the so beauty of Jazz Fest. That's yeah, why it's yeah. new every year. So I guess uh, every year we try to get some some school group to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, although in the the past year we were trying to solidify that a little better and get get more involved. So uh, I think you're going to be talking with Mike Eben about uh, this other other part of Get Jazz that we've come up with. It's going to be new this year, and. Uh, we're, it's going to, we're, we're going to invite bands to uh, perform, uh, to just perform and not be critiqued or anything. It's just oh, going to be a performance. Wow. And there's also going to be uh, some workshop uh, component to that as well. Well, there's a, a preview that you're in charge of. I'll call it a preview because I think it's in January and it's called Get Jazzed. Jazzed ED in the end mm -hmm. is capital for education. What's going to happen there? Well, that, that's the classic <laughs> Get Jazz. That's how it started. It, it's the, the day of education that mm -hmm. I told you about that's modeled after the, the competition. Oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, so that's when we have the eight clinicians. And then we have one, we call it um, uh, you know, a featured artist. Who's coming uh, in? This, this year we have Tom Bones Malone. Wow. Who's a, you know, like, he's done everything in the music business, everything. Uh, so that's going to be a really amazing amazing day. And we've, we've been fortunate to have a lot of great uh, clinicians, uh, featured artists over the years. Being so close to New York, we can really pull some interesting guys. Are they anxious artists who are busy and professional? Do they welcome the opportunity to take time and spend with kids? Oh yeah, yeah they do, they love it. And uh, they all have a great rapport with the kids. And uh, we, we've, been, we, we've learned after the first few years of doing this to, to educate uh, the, the band directors, the music teachers, about who the featured artists are uh, and the clinicians, but mm -hmm. just because no, you know, nobody knows everybody. So, right. so right. we've been sending information out, and by the time the kids get there for, for the, the event, you know, they're really excited. And uh, Charlie DeCarney, who's played a vital role uh, in hosting it the past few years, uh, he, he started making posters 
uh, really nicely designed artistic posters with all the uh, clinicians on it. Oh. And then the kids get their autographs and, and they oh, get so pumped nice. up about it. Uh, so they'll always remember. So when you do these things, um, at the end of the day, uh, what, what, I mean, you're talking a little bit about the impact this has on the kids, that they had the opportunity to meet these artists, these established musicians, get their signature. Um, do you see it making a difference perhaps in uh, lighting that fire of possibility beyond I'm going to play in the jazz band at high school? Sometimes, yeah, we, we definitely ha have uh, fed uh, the music business from, <laughs> from Berks Have here. you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, don't, don't ask me for any names right oh, well. now, but <laughs> I have just a couple, but I'm sure there are many. Uh, uh, but, you know, I still hear from them. In fact, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of the, you know, they were kids when I met them, and now they're oh, you're kidding. adults, and, you know, we hang out sometimes. And uh, That's a pretty big impact other. then. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's exciting to see. These, these kids uh, evolve and grow. And it's exciting too that you keep growing the education component and making that broader based on what you've been doing each year. So Jazz Fest is more than the music on stage. It's so much more and part of it is the get jazzed portion of the program. And I thank you, Chris, for chairing that particular committee and keeping it vibrant and new and innovative. We appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.